Here we are in lesson 10. We've used quite a lot of sensors in the kit so far, and today we're going to be using the angle sensor. Some of the sensors we've used so far have been digital sensors, meaning the only output is zero or a one. This particular sensor is an analog sensor. The difference between analog and digital is that instead of only two states with digital, analog has a range. For instance, like a thermometer, we can see a range of temperature. We're going to be using the range of input from this angle sensor to control the light on the M5 stack. It's also a sensor with a black port, so we'll attach it to port B. And now we can control the brightness level of the lights on the M5 stack. Let's see how we can program that. Here we are back in UI flow and as per usual, we'll start off by renaming the project. I'm going to call this uh, brightness control. Okay. So in this lesson, we're going to be using the angle sensor. The angle sensor is an electronic component component sometimes known as a potentiometer. It's an analog sensor opposed to the digital sensors that we've been using. So let's just have a think about that for a second. So we know that a digital sensor can only have a zero or a one output. Now as a comparison we could think about a thermometer. A thermometer can display a range of values of temperature. And so analog is capable of inputting a range of values. And so we'll use that range then to control the light of the M5 Go. So first things first, we're going to go into units and then we're going to go and find that angle sensor. And it should be in port B. Okay. So what we're going to do first is read it out to the screen. So we're going to need again, the text label on the screen. There we go. Okay. And then let's go into UI, get a label block. And we want to constantly update this as before with our other sensor values. So we make sure that we put that block into our main loop. And then if we go into units, we only have one option here, get angle value. Okay. So now if we play that, we see the value changing on the screen as we twist the angle sensor. But what we want to do is to set the RGB bar to be controlled by the angle value. So first, before we start our loop, we should set it to a specific color. Okay. And then instead of changing the color, what we're going to be doing is using the set brightness of the RGB bar and then use that angle value to then control the brightness. Okay, so we can directly duplicate this and then drag and drop it into the set RGB brightness. Now you may have noticed when we send the code last time, when we we're just displaying the angle sensor value to the label, that it was varying wildly. And there was also a decimal point within the number. Now watch what happens if we turn the knob so it goes directly right down to zero. We get an error. On the screen, we can see the error can't convert float to int. So what exactly is a float and what's an int? So these are both two different types of variables. A float is basically a variable that holds a decimal point number. And then int is a variable that holds a whole number. Now the set RGB brightness block 
should only be able to take an int value, whereas we're getting a float value from our angle sensor. So we're going to have to do some conversion here. This is possible, and it's definitely something that we have to do from time to time, converting values through different data types within programming. Let's go into the maths blocks to find a convert to int block. What we'll need to do is take out our angle value block, connect it up to convert to int block, and then put it back where it was. Let's see it in action. Here we have the result of our angle sensor code. We can change the value by twisting the angle sensor and we're also controlling the brightness of the lights. With that map function, we could map it to any value we want. We could even use it to control the sound of the device, control the position of an image on the screen, See what you can come up with. Remember, if you get stuck, you can always ask us in the comments. See you next time.